Hi, I'm Ryan Alsop, Chief Administrative Officer for Kern County. On Tuesday, August 31st, the Kern County Board of Supervisors considered and passed a $3.5 billion budget for the current fiscal year. Kern County residents not only require, but expect a broad spectrum of important and well-managed public safety, public health, transportation, social and recreational services, among other important quality of life services. These are provided by the County of Kern and funded through our annual budget process. This year's budget, like all budgets, was prepared in accordance with the Board of Supervisors approved guidelines and the statutory requirements of the County Budget Act, as well as a commitment to fulfilling our mission by striving to exceed expectation when meeting the critical needs of our residents. Our budget reflects the Board of Supervisors' top priorities and ensures our county's diverse communities are well served during what continues to be a challenging time. The approved budget not only positions our county to address the ongoing recovery and strategic response to the COVID-19 pandemic, which we're all continuing to deal with and likely will be for some time, but it also places an absolute priority on the most critical and urgent needs of our community, including $1 billion in dedicated funding to support a variety of critical public safety services, including emergency preparedness and response, additional investments to mitigate homelessness and the impacts of homelessness on our community, investments in public health, as well as mental health, in parks, maintaining library services, and increasing funding for important services like spay and neuter programs, and many others. Additionally, this budget recognizes the need and funds investment in critical infrastructure used to deliver these vital services. It's important to note that this budget supports our law enforcement and fire protection services with funding that not only puts more law enforcement officers on the streets, but ensures all of our fire stations and firefighting positions are fully funded. While we find ourselves in a stable fiscal position this year, our future is not without challenge. Our biggest challenge moving forward is continuing to fulfill the important quality of life needs and investments that our residents expect and frankly demand Doing so with limited resources, little year-over-year -year growth in property tax and sales tax revenue, along with the impact state energy policies continue to have on our county. The combination of collaborative efforts with the county departments to control spending, smartly utilize fund balances and reserves, ensuring that one-time revenues are strictly used for one-time purposes, along with some federal financial assistance related to dealing with the, with the pandemic itself, have positioned our Board of Supervisors to adopt not only a budget that is balanced, but a budget that puts our county on a stronger fiscal footing to meet future headwinds. We have learned many lessons throughout the past year as we have worked to respond to the local impacts of the global pandemic. While again, the upcoming year will have its own set of challenges for sure, we have the experience, strategies, and heartfelt commitment to dealing with these issues head on. We will continue to implement best practices, we'll continue to innovate, and ensure the efficient and effective use of resources for our residents as our county moves forward. For more information on this fiscal year's budget, approved by the board on Tuesday, August 31st, please visit our website 